Greetings again, neuroscience enthusiasts. This post will talk about Sigma-1 and its relevance for neurological disorders and its potential for high-level cognitive enhancement. Sigma-1 bind with high affinity to several classes of chemically unrelated ligands, such as neurosteroids, neuroleptics, DXM, and several psychostimulants, such as cocaine, methamphetamine, MDMA, and methacathinone. Consequently, it is thought that sigma the first of may mediate the immunosuppressant, antipsy, chotic, and neuroprotective effects of many drugs. Sigma 1s regulate a number of neurotransmitter systems, including the glutamatergic, dopaminergic, serotonergic, noradrenergic, and cholinergic systems. Sigma 1 receptors are expressed in neurons and glia and act as molecular chaperones that regulate various cellular processes important for cognitive function. These include calcium signaling, neurotransmitter release, especially of acetylcholine and glutamate, and mechanisms underlying neuroplasticity. Unlike many other neurotransmitter receptors that show declining density in the aging brain, sigma-1 receptor density is preserved or even increased with age. However, in pathological conditions like Alzheimer's disease, and to some degree Parkinson's disease, there is a noticeable reduction of sigma-1 receptors. Indirect regulation of transcriptional activity by sigma-1 contributes to its neuroprotective properties. For example, sigma the 1st of May prevent neuronal death by upregulating expression of the anti-apoptotic mitochondrial protein, BCL2. Sigma-1 facilitates MDA receptor signaling and neurotransmission in hippocampal neurons possibly through altering responses to calcium signals, for example, inhibiting calcium 2 plus activated SK channels and promoting expression of NMDA receptor subunits and their trafficking to the plasma membrane. Sigma-1 can also obviate negative regulation of ND-Mars by cannabinoid-1 receptor. These interactions enhance neuronal firing and maturation of mushroom spines from NMDA receptor activation. Modulation of calcium signaling by sigma the 1st of May regulates synaptic plasticity through stimulation of cam -E, PKC, and ERK. What is the relevance of sigma-1 agonists, then? Many sigma-1 agonists are anti-amnestic, synaptogenetic, and neuroprotective in conditions of neuronal stress. They also mitigate disease and symptoms in experimental models of ALS, Alzheimer's disease, Parkinson's disease. Huntington's disease, stroke, and TBI. Sigma-1 agonists promote neurogenesis in the hippocampus, and they may mitigate memory impairment because they can stabilize mature mushroom spines, which serve as sites of robust synaptic connections, encoding lasting information. Some antidepressants slash anti-anhedonic medications and Alzheimer's medications, like donopezil, also happen to act as sigma-1 receptor agonists and this action likely contributes to their therapeutic effects on cognition. In summary, sigma-1 receptors play an important neuromodulatory role in various processes fundamental to learning and memory. The problem with sigma-1 agonism is that it has some issues. First, it can be potentially reinforcing, with sigma-1 agonists being potentially addictive if co-administered with compounds which enhance dopamine release. Sigma-1 agonists also affect locomotor activity, which is not an optimal profile for a compound if high selectivity is the target. Agonism can also potentially cause immunosuppression. A potential solution for these problems is through modulating sigma-1 through its allosteric site. Methylphenylpyrrocetum, E1R, was discovered to target only the sigma-1 site in in vitro pharmacological profiling assays. E1R has been shown to alleviate scopolamine-induced cognitive impairment in mice as assessed using passive avoidance and spontaneous alternation tests. The effects of E1R were antagonized by the selective sigma-1, antagonist NEE100, suggesting a sigma-1 positive allosteric modulatory effect in vivo. E1R is a unique racetam compound because it displays cognition enhancements linked to positive allosteric sigma. 1. Receptor Modulation E1R is the first pyrocetum derivative reported to modulate sigma-1 receptors. E1R, being based on phenylpyrocetum, has a high predicted ADMET safety profile 
and a low predicted dose. A key advantage of E1R over other sigma-1 receptor modulators is its lack of effects on locomotor activity. Therefore, E1R represents a promising lead compound for further development as a therapeutic agent, particularly for treating symptoms of cognitive disorders and neurodegenerative diseases. The only problem with E1R is of its difficulty to produce due to its stereoisomer configuration. What is the involvement of sigma-1 psychedelic neurology? One study found that MEE, an enzyme that converts tryptamine into the sigma-1 ligand DMT, is also localized to postsynaptic sites of C terminals in close proximity to the sigma-1. This close association of INMT and sigma-1S suggests that DMT is synthesized locally to effectively activate sigma-1 in motor neurons. Sigma-1 seems quite important for the effects of DMT and other psychedelics, which is quite interesting considering the most studied pathways for psychedelics are serotonin subunits, for example, 5-HT2A. This is most likely because DMT is a potent agonist at sigma-1. In one study, sigma-1 knockout mice, which reacted normally to the locomotor stimulating effect of methamphetamine, did not become hyperactive in response to DMT. This shows a large part of its effects are most likely mediated just through sigma-1. This area is relatively under-researched and warrants more investigation. In conclusion, modulating sigma-1, especially with PAMs, seems like a very promising mechanism of action for cognitive enhancement and also for treating numerous existing neurological disorders. Using allosterics rather than agonists seems to be the way to go, as they have a superior effect profile and efficacy. A lot of existing pharmacological compounds are ligands at sigma-1. However, they lack selectivity and also lack allosteric affinity. Compounds with high selectivity and also with affinity for the allosteric site only are most likely superior candidate compounds. If you like this video, feel free to join our group using the link in the description. Thank you for watching Kamaru Army, and I am out.